So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second session and in this section we are just going to look at physics 1010 final exam and this was written in 2023 and it was written at the University of Zambia. So this is our question 3a. So please go and check up the question and make sure that you follow up how the solution is. The question is simple. A stone is thrown upward from the top of a building. Okay, all right, solution. A stone was thrown upward from the top of a building. Personally, there is no diagram, so I'll try to illustrate this. I'll try to illustrate this. So this is the building, okay? So if this is the building, then we have a stone somewhere. So this is a stone, okay? So this is a stone. At an angle of 25 degrees, so if there is an angle of 25 degrees, then that is that. So there is this movement, and this is the stone, okay? And then uh, to the horizontal level, so the horizontal level, it is this particular part so this is the horizontal uh, layer and this is um, this is 25 degrees according to the question then the um, with an initial velocity of 15 so initial velocity is simply equal to 15 meters per second so if you look carefully and understand you're going to see that this is the same question which was in math uh, 1050 or oh, physics 1015 the same question which was in the, uh, physics 1015 it is the same one but in 1015 we were asked to look for the time okay so in this particular case we have been told that uh, hitting the level ground how tall is the building okay how tall is the, the building so if you look at this what you have to understand is that they are asking us to find the what the height isn't it they are asking us to find the, the height so even if you fail then i just don't know if you solved that question for uh, physics uh, 10 15 then you are able to find the answer for the physics 10 10 so the time you have been given which is what um which is three second can someone tell me which formula are we going to use here the same formula we used in physics 10 15 isn't it so you're just going to say the 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 what you're just going to say the the formula which is y representing this height is equal to y representing that height is simply equal to you're going to say v um vy vy and then e times t and then plus e 1 over uh 2 and then e a t e squared so if i treat my if i treat my my going down as positive and then my going up as negative it is okay with that okay so i'm going to say vy okay i'll go with vy because vy it is this particular um this particular guy here vy will be this particular guy there so what i'll do is i'll just replace there so i'll say h is equal to so if you look at h if you look at uh, if you look at h h is what our y is okay h is what our y is so after doing that what we are going to do is we are going to put this this guy here we are going to put 15 15 
sine 25 15 sine 25 times what times time 3 how we have gotten 15 sine 25 go and check the the revision class where i was solving um, uh, physics 10 15 then you have um plus okay then there you can have uh half and then this guy can simply be a negative okay this guy can simply be a negative which is negative 9.8 remember that remember that and then time will be 3 squared if you remember from physics 10 15 that's what we did acceleration was a negative but if you put a positive there, that's where people got it wrong. They had to put acceleration due to gravity. They treated it as a what? As a positive. So this is where people got it wrong. Then you can have height is simply equal to 15, uh, 15, 15 sine, 15 sine 25. It has to give you something like 6.34. 6.34 times z 3 and then this will be minus and then you have half the knee 9.80 and then 3 squared with that being said you are going to have h is, is simply equal to 6.34 times z 3 and then e minus e 4 point nine times what times nine then there you're going to say h is equal to if you plug in everything on your calculator this will give you negative 25 v point zero eighty meters where did people make mistake they made mistake where they had to treat acceleration as a positive instead of a negative but us we can't make such a mistake because we have the knowledge in e physics 10 e 15 so therefore you can write that you can say therefore the height of a building the height of the building height of the building the height of a building uh is simply equal to 25 meters simply equal to 25 meters chap you are done so it's very easy to solve these questions maybe someone might try to injure you uh, in terms of marking but if you want you can simply indicate that whereby v y is simply equal to v zero sin e theta v0 sin theta and this is bringing you to that then the other thing which maybe someone might want you to indicate it is this diagram which i have indicated there so this diagram it is what we call the what the free body diagram so for some lecturer they would love you to show this free body diagram to explain that you understand the question but both um both types of physics they were just being asked the same thing just that physics 10 10 they ask about time then physics 10 50 physics 10 10 they ask about distance and physics 10 10 10 15 they ask about it time so ladies and gentlemen this is how easily this question was please if you have a question you can ask right now but if you are going to come across a question or any part where you are not clear you are also free to whatsapp me um on the lines i'm going to put i think i, I have them okay so those lines you can use those lines to whatsapp me in case you have any single question